Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're here at the Muscle Car and Corvette National in Rosemont, Illinois. You gotta come on out and see this show. This year they're featuring Shelby's and Cobras, and I'm here with Rich. Rich, what's your last name? Haydinger. Haydinger, and Rich has got a car that came off your bucket list. Yep. So we're gonna take a look at that. So about six months ago, you picked this little dandy up, and uh, the bucket list car was complete. So first of all, congratulations on hitting your dream. Thank you. But what kind of car do you have here? This is a 1964 Shelby Cobra, 289 street version. <laughs> and when you drive this, what's people's reactions? They probably think it's a reproduction, <laughs> quite honestly. But it's the real deal. It is a real deal. The real deal. Let's take a look at her. And I love the color. Thank Very you. subtle color along with the car and I'm going to feature some things that you don't see on this one and by chance come on with me we've got a real Cobra as well next to it and you can see the hood scoop on that one and this one's nice the 289s have a flat scoop so it gives a real nice European kind of sports car look you've got the raked wing windshield let's take one step back because I want to get the whole car in as well and look at that right there a nice exhaust out the back, you know, not the crazy side pipes, although there's nothing wrong with all the re regular Cobras with the side pipes. But it's nice to kind of see a, a, a calm down version. The wonderful gills. So, if this was on the bucket list, Rich, why, why this car? Tell me about it. I just always loved the clean lines of the 289 Cobra. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was kind of neat because you get the look of a old European sports car. Yeah. But when they sold them in Europe, they had 120 horsepower. Yeah. And Shelby put 306 in it. <laughs> so it's kind of like a European sports car look with a muscle car drive. Yeah, no and doubt. I thought that was just awesome. And this is an all aluminum body. Right. And we'll check the VIN number because I know some people are saying, well, we got to prove it. You see it. We'll get to that. But let's just take in all of that. Yeah. So, what's the color on this car? Mink silver. Say that one more time. Mink silver. Mink silver. Yep. Yeah. Oh, what a pretty car. What a pretty car. Let's take a look at the uh, uh, the back end of the car. Before I do that, you know, something that just actually stopped me. You saw the probably hitch. I love this graded grill. You know, it has that Ferrari like look to it. Yeah. Yeah, Wonderful. All right. Let's take a look at the back. We're going to take a look at the interior in a second. <clears throat> Isn't that sweet? Just beautifully designed. Wonderful curves. You can see the haunches kind of on both sides. Looks a little bit like a thoroughbred ready to go. And all of the chrome jewelry, these wonderful bumperettes giving it this clean back end look to it. A little handle. And you have a trunk in this one too. Yep, a little one. A little one. Let's uh, open up the door if you look good. Now correct, correct me if I'm wrong, is this the gas filler? Yes it is. How do you get gas in that thing? I mean that's got to be, <laughs> be quite a little trick. Yeah, you have to do it pretty slow. Yeah, pretty slow. I imagine you're going to have like a blanket with you to put over this thing. I, I would if it was mine. I'm sure you must. All right, so we've got the door mechanism here. As you can see, I mean, you talk about a thin door. Look at that. There is, you know, that's my thumb. And it's only, only weighs like 2,000 pounds. 2,000 pounds with 300 horse. You got the AC plates. The AC here. All the Stuart Warner gauges, which are correct. Is that actually the original radio, or is that an after? It is, believe it or not. Really? It's on the uh, paperwork I have that it, so I have the original invoice. I have the invoice from AC Cars in England that he gave Shelby, and then the one that Shelby gives to the dealership. Wow. And it's kind of funny that had a radio. He could never even hear it. Oh, no. Yeah, right. And you'll... But, but I will say that this car is, this car is going to maybe surprise some people because it's not as crazy as people are going to think. No, it's it's a yeah. street car. It's a wonderful car. Yeah, let's uh, let's open up the uh, hood, please. So clean. So clean. 
there's your 289 high performance. Your Cobra. Yeah. I'll come on over this side so people can see that it's people can see that it's the real deal. Go ahead, we'll give you the we'll give you all of that so you can see that. That's the the deal. Right there. This right here. That's a, like a, a tool that comes okay, with it. I a think tool it's for a wheel. I'm not sure. All right, yeah. Someone on the viewer, that's the beauty of the viewers, is they'll tell us. They'll tell you. And take a look at the little, there's like a cotter pin holding that there. I mean, just a wonderful little little car. And look at the bracing in the front. I can sell you right? Yes. Let's, uh, let's have you jump in. Let's, have, let's have you start up. Wonderful little rumble, right? Yeah, I like the sound. <laughs> it's Very a great much. sound. Rich, beautiful car. Thank you. I'm so proud that you hit your bucket list, really. I'm <laughs> happy for you. And thanks so much for being on my car store. Thank you very much.